All right, so we've got an, a, pre a premiere coming. We've got a premiere coming uh, from Anomaly uh, here in about a minute. Just got brand new upgrades for my computer installed. Expedition cap on. Welcome to the Gnome Show, ladies and gentlemen. its soccer tradition, Argentina has been the birthplace of great and renowned athletes who have changed the course of history. A true breeding ground for talent. And that has its explanation in the significant human investment made in the development of the world's most popular sport. In any corner you traverse in Argentina, there exists a stadium, a club with tradition, or some soccer player of humble origin who managed to succeed in the major European leagues. Some corners of the country hold enormous secrets, secrets about their soccer gems, but also others they wish had never come to light. In the city of Viedma, there existed until 1995, a team called Estudiante de Rio Negro, which also had its own stadium, despite being part of the third division of Argentine soccer. A historic venue built under the management of the club's second president in 1955, Antonio Regalatissimo, an Italian immigrant who arrived in the south central part of the country fleeing World War II. Everything in the club had gone according to its status as a minor team in Argentina. However, everything ended in a very tragic way when in 1995, the federal police uncovered a huge trafficking network that had had the Rio Negro team as its main cover institution since its foundation. After that disaster, and by order of the federal judges of Rio Negro, it was ordered to dismantle the stadium and seize each of the institution's facilities. With this, the site fell into permanent disuse. And, as is customary in neglected neighborhoods, the place quickly turned into a home for vagrants and criminals. Thus, that intersection became one of the most dangerous in that Argentine province. However, the problems were just beginning because two years later, the case of the Hernandez brothers shook all of Argentine society after they were found lifeless very close to the ruins of the stadium. That prompted a much deeper investigation into the dangers of the area. After evicting the vagrants, arresting traffickers hiding there, and fencing off the site, the National Livestock Service found an infectious focus in Rio Negro that had been killing livestock due to water infestation running under the groundwater of the city of Vaima, of which its main source ran beneath the ruins of the stadium. After that investigation, they realized there was a huge underground complex beneath the debris of the stadium, something they had completely overlooked during the demolition. There, they were surprised to find that some group had been operating in those tunnels for the two years the place had been closed. 
what seemed to be nothing more than a satanic cult where they found a series of sculptures of a black anthropomorphic entity made of wax of the oh, same color, shit. soon took on more serious tones. For in some rooms, they found what seemed to be a huge body slaughterhouse, which, after delicate forensic investigations, turned out to be human. Nothing was ever known about the group that could have done this, nor is there any suspicion of any group, as there were never reports or complaints from any resident of the area. Furthermore, with the help of experts in esoteric and paranormal matters, they could not identify that wax-made entity or its connection to what was found hanging in the underground. Anyway, whatever it was, had to have been carried out by human beings, as the techniques for handling the bodies gave serious indications of knowledge of animal meat processing. chainsaw mask or shit. In 2002, when the case had already been closed due to lack of information, as a way not to disturb the people, a mysterious package arrived at the Rio Negro headquarters with the return address inscribed on the demolished state of Viedma. Inside this package were six photographs that seemed to correspond to a complete series of a procedure that was classified as of utmost sensitivity. Only the one you were seeing came to light where you can see a fat man sitting in an underground room. Uh, it's always some fat guy. The rest of the material, although its content That's is unknown, true, it's some, in know, the words like, of a retired officer like, who had access to it, expressed his concern. Like, really? Like, what do you... Uh, I mean, like, it's some, some, some rich businessman that shouldn't been there but paid for something. You know what I'm saying? And now he's where he's at as those showed an action as similar or worse than the butchering of a pig. The repercussions this case had in Rio Negro were such that, permanently, until 2008, a group of policemen guarded day and night the demolished sports facilities. During this time, there was never news of this group again, nor did another package with photographs ever arrive nor was it reported in any province in Argentina. However, the only suspicion due to its similarity is attributed to a little-known Indo-American religion in Paraguay, who worship a mythical figure they call Umbaruru Pepe, which manifests as a black wax body. According to tradition, it demands some very prized physical sacrifice in exchange for granting the cure for diseases considered even today untreatable. some shit that could happen in, the, in real life that was pretty fucking creepy um like i'm gonna be covering some more stuff from an uh from anomaly um he's he's got some really 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 talented uh, uh stuff out here so look forward to more of that um i'm glad i caught this when i did it was about to premiere and i just happened to catch it in time um so um yeah um i'm already subbed to this guy uh, but, uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share, um, you know, go check his channel out, 
Yeah, you won't regret it if you like that type of stuff, uh, being analog horror. Um, have a great day, guys. Be safe, happy, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one.